hello what's up in this video i'll be showing how you can easily use my automatic skin retouching action pack to edit your photos faster and quicker in photoshop so first of all i want to go through the actions and how you can easily install them and how you can use them to get this image from looking like this to looking like this in photoshop with just a single click so it is just a matter of clicking and painting around so before after before after and if i told you a beginner these actions are going to help you edit quicker and edit faster your photos and have you deliver them on time when it comes to timely delivery remember timely delivery is always key when it comes to delivering or making money as a photographer so make sure that you stick around and understand and if i told you want to purchase this action simply check the links in the description of this video so that you can buy or purchase these actions and include them in your daily workflow as a photographer so the link is going to be in the description of this very video so that you can purchase these actions so you can see a before and after so i'm just going to come and delete this so that we understand how to import and use this action when it comes to photoshop so in order to use these actions basically we are going to come and make sure that we load the actions into photoshop for us to be able to apply them on this very image so in order to load them into photoshop basically you have to come right here to window and come and make sure we have selected action right here and after selecting actions you can simply come and load the actions to photoshop by simply coming to load actions and after you have purchased the actions make sure you first of all unzip the actions and after doing that simply come and locate the actions so click on it and simply hit open and the actions are going to display under the actions panel so after importing the actions you can as well include a button mode or have them display this kind of button mode when it comes to you having a colorful workflow or workspace so i've just changed it to button mode so if i told you don't want button mode you can as well switch it away or switch it off so after doing that or after importing the actions into photoshop what you have to do is understanding how these actions are going to be working so this is more of a close-up photo because the face is closer to us so what we have to do in this case we are simply going to come and look for the rara close-up auto so just click on it simply left click on it and it's going to do its magic create for you all these layers for you to simply come and paint on the skin so i'm just going to leave it to do its work so depending on how fast your pc is and after doing that you can now just come by using a white brush or passing the flat hundred percent and the action is going to automatically select the brush for you so all you have to do is come and just paint on the skin so just paint and keep within the areas or the boundaries of the skin that you're working on so when it comes to painting on the highlight sometimes it may get off the highlight especially in the nose area but i'll be showing you how to go about that so just come and paint on each and every area that has skin and you can see it retouches the skin while keeping and maintaining the original skin details or skin textures and it produces way natural results so you can see this is what we have right now so when it comes to painting on the highlight area Make sure you reduce the flow all the way below 10% and just come and just paint on the nose area or on that highlight area. And if I told you overdo a given area, just switch the brush back to black uh, and take back the opacity. We can leave it below and you can erase the effect from a given area. So I'm just going to paint back my effect in that area. So you can see this is the before, after. Let me just zoom in for you. So this is the image before, after, before, after. Just how natural the users have gotten to be. And with just a few seconds, I've been able to get the image from this tool looking like this by simply painting over the image. So to get the image look better, remember now the eyes are a little bit more on the yellow side. So just come and look for the eyes and teeth action and simply click on the play button and use the opacity and the flat 100%. You can simply zoom in by using ctrl plus on the keyboard and after doing that simply come and paint in the eyes to whiten the eyes just like that so just come and paint in the eyes just like that 
and reduce on the side by using the bracket keys once again and you can do the same for the teeth so if i told you want to erase the effect from a given area switch the brush to black or black as the foreground color and simply so to switch the brush to black or white you can use this arrow so white is going to paint the effect and black is going to delete the effect from a given area so this is what we have right now so if at all you feel like the effect of the retouching is a little bit intense you can just come and reduce on the opacity of uh, that effect and if at all you feel like the image looks sharper than it was meant to be before you can open up the retouch group and you just come and play around with the original texture and you can simply reduce on the effect of the original texture layer so i'm just going to leave it around 89 and i think that looks okay and better before after before after so after doing that remember you can as well use this action to have better results regarding the blacks of the image so let's first of all make the image pop so yeah, i'm just going to come right here and simply play the auto pop action and you can see us before after before after right now the image is popping but that is a little bit too much so I'll just come the opacity and reduce on the pop effect of uh, the filter so after doing that the next thing is going to be playing around with the blacks in the image because they look more on the cyan side so just come to the auto blacks action and simply left click on it and it's going to play or correct the blacks to my liking so that's a before after before after so let's see the overall before and after for this very image and i show you the magic so this is the image initially before after before after so i'll zoom in slightly to show you the effect of the action so this is the image before after before after before after so you can see what we have been able to achieve by using this wonderful and amazing action so if at all you own a studio and you are more into weddings and events and you tend to take so much time trying to edit your images and you don't have the time for advanced skin retouching and maybe dodging and burning and all that frequency separation you can purchase these actions and include them in your daily workflow and they are going to help you save so so much time when it comes to delivering the photos in the shortest time possible so this is it for this video and if i would love to purchase these actions check the link in the video description so that you can purchase these actions and include them in your daily workflow as a photographer to help you save so so much time this is it for this video and if i told you i've loved this simply don't forget to purchase the actions by using the link in the description of this very video i'll see you in yet another video and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating